up CG family it's three o'clock Saturday afternoon and I'm gonna be doing a review on this BMW 650i so I'm wearing my BMW shirt to represent the car so let's get right into it now this car is nothing out of the ordinary but it has a lot of cool things that even I didn't know about it so this is the 650i Grand Coupe we had the earlier model of this car but uh, we traded it in to get the upgraded look now in my opinion those taillights are the most aggressive looking thing on this car This 650, uh, this 650i in particular has the M package on it, which comes with a lot of cool features, which I'll show you. The M package on this BMW comes with a special front bumper, which not all 650i's have. It comes with special rims. It has the M logo right there, special side skirt, and a special rear bumper as well. And these bumpers and side skirts give off a more aggressive look than the standard 650i does and it's kind of that middle point between the m6 and the uh base 650i uh brand new it's listed at just under 100 grand we have this beautiful refurbished grill originally when we bought this car we had this trim around the window it was chrome and it gave it more of a luxurious look to the car but we took it to bmw and they painted it black for us and it gave it more of a sporty look and i keep telling my dad to do the same thing with the front grille and with the rims because i just think that would look so much better on the navy blue color and honest to god that navy blue color on a cloudy day or even at nighttime it looks black on top of those features this bmw has run flat tires and if i'm going to be completely honest with you the only problems this bmw really has get given us are uh, problems with the, the tire. And these are run flat tires, so that means when they break or when they pop or whatever, or they get flat, you're still able to drive on them. But with that being said, they're very low profile tires. So entering the, wow. Oh my God. That should sound good. Now there are a few more features that come with the M package on the interior. So let's get into that. So entering the vehicle unlock it nothing crazy special on the interior so to go over the interior there it is. so to go over the interior um package go over the interior m package um features we have this m badge steering wheel which has very nice bullet steering on the side and a stitched you can't really see it because it's faded but the the inside lining of the steering wheel is stitched very nicely uh we also have this m badge right when you open the door one more thing are these seats the bolsters on these seats um and the seats themselves come with the uh m package and don't mind the floor mats we still have the winter floor mats in here it's springtime it's rainy don't judge one thing I love about the interior is the gauges before starting the car and even when the car's turned on. Look how mean that looks when the letters dim. Like, come on, that looks badass. But obviously, it's not practical to drive without... Did I say letters? It's not practical to drive <laughs> without numbers, um, whether that's your speed or your RPMs. So... Don't get me wrong, like I said, this interior is nothing out of the ordinary, but for what it is, it's very high quality and the attention to detail is superb. Look at the stitching, for instance, on the vehicle. The steering on the passenger side starts there, goes onto the stitching on the passenger side starts right here and goes across the door, goes up onto the dashboard and comes down onto the center console. So I'm going to start her up. We have um, automatic start stop right there and a push start. That's the display. No, there are no check engine lights on. Now this car has uh, a beautiful finish on the roof and the headliner. Roof, 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 roof. Um, 
it has <laughs> now this car has a beautiful finish on the headliner it's Alcantara a uh, very luxurious uh, sporty look to it and it's just it gives you that like feeling of I'm important when you're driving to the store in the middle of a crisis and everything has gone to shambles you just look up and you see Alcantara and you remember I'm important so the software in the vehicle hasn't changed much from the previous generation. You still have the turn the knob in order to go up and down or push down on the knob to select certain things. I look like Casper. One other thing, I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, we have a heads up display. Um, that looks like it's right there, but for me it looks like it's all the way in front of the car. Um, but for those of you who don't know or don't have heads-up display, it basically tells you your speed and it shows it in the distance so that you don't have to keep looking down. You can just kind of look an inch down in the horizon and you will have your speed or whatever given the information is there. But one thing I want to point out is this has a Harman Kardon sound system. And if you don't know what a Harman Kardon sound system is, it's the best sound system to ever be put in a vehicle. Okay, it's one of the best sound systems, but it's a very, very high quality sound system. It's got two subwoofers under the passenger and driver's seats, um, stock, and they're not like crazy subwoofers that will shake your ass, but, um, you know, they, they really produce a very high quality sound. I think 600 watt, if I'm not correct, I'll have to look that up. While we are on the performance side of things, I'm going to walk you guys through the different modes that this car has. Come down here and you have your comfort and sport buttons. So let's say we push the sport button and we are in comfort plus mode. If you push sport again, it puts you into comfort mode. Push it again. You have entered sport mood. Okay, that was just, that was a Jeremy Clarkson impression. And if you're really feeling brave, you push that button one more time and you enter sport plus mode. So in the different modes on this vehicle, comfort plus, comfort, you have a soft suspension. Uh, the exhaust note's a little bit different. Things kind of quiet down on the inside of the car. Um, but when you go into sport or sport plus mode, the traction control turns off, the suspension stiffens, and the noise inside and outside the vehicle gets louder. So yeah, the moonroof adds a whole bunch of weight to the car, but this is a grand touring car. It's not meant for the racetrack like the M6 is. You know, that's one of the things that we, we didn't, we're not gonna be on the racetrack, we're not gonna be racing. We, we want that middle point between comfort and sportiness, which is the 650i. The 640i has a V8, the 650i has a twin turbo V8, as does the M6. So it has the power that we need uh, for a car. This isn't a weekend car as M6 would be, this is more of a daily driver. Um, with the all-wheel drive system and the 445 horsepower that this twin turbo V8 is putting out, it can go to zero to 60 in almost identical times as the M6 can. Obviously, um, exceeding the 60 mile an hour mark, the M6 is gonna have a lot more power and torque to offer than this car. But zero to 60, this car gets up and goes. And when I tell you, when I drive this car, it pulls so hard in first gear. So I'm gonna give you guys a little rev action of this twin turbo V8, it's pushing out 445 horsepower. So the exhaust has that muscly yet throaty sound to it. You can hear those backfires and little crackles and pops, which is just a great sound from the exhaust. Uh, but this car sounds completely different when you're actually driving it. One crazy feature I forgot to mention about the 650i's, and I don't know if this one has it or not, um, but it, they come with four wheel steering, meaning when you're going at low speeds, the rear tires will turn against the front tires to help improve your turning radius. And when you're traveling at 
higher speeds, they turn with the front tires to help make you corner more agile than you would. And to me, that's crazy because that's that's a feature you find on a lot of supercars like the GT2 and GT3 and the Ferrari F12 TDF. Those all have four wheel steering. And I was like, a car in our garage has four wheel steering. Huh, well, I'll be down. Now, I want you guys to notice my seat is all the way back and I am six foot four. So I'm gonna get out the car and go into the back seat. I just sat behind myself successfully. Now, I want you to know one thing. All right, you see that? It's not working, all right? So obviously I can, you know, try and get comfortable here and whatnot and just kind of crouch and, you know, I'm good. I can make this work. Not for a few hours, but 20 minute drive, I'm chilling. Uh, so I just sat behind myself successfully, 6'4". So that means, you know, this sedan has a lot of room in the back seat. While I'm at it, this is what the reverse camera looks like. It actually is under the logo, which is really sweet. And that also doubles as a trunk lift. So you can just lift it up and the trunk opens. And it's got a lot of trunk space in there too. So now I'm gonna be chauffeured around in a 650i Grand Coupe. Usually you'd wanna go for the seven series, but in this case, this is what we have. So I moved the front seat up a little bit to give myself a nice luxurious ride. I'm chilling and I'm comfortable, but it's a little bit bright in here. So I'm gonna push this button and those go up. And then I push this one and that goes up. So now it's nice and dim and I can take a nap. So good night. Also have rear heated seats for you bougie people. This whole passenger side right here just looks so sexy. Like look at the lining and the stitching. Ooh, I wanna be a passenger in this vehicle. So thank you guys for watching my review on the 650i BMW. We have some more videos coming your way. So stay tuned for those. And make sure you guys, you know, do all the liking and subscribing and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next video.